फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन जीरो India's pursuit of space exploration which began on July 14, 2023 at 9:05 a.m. is all set to reach a remarkable milestone with the Chandrayaan-3 soft landing on the moon. In a monumental moment, Chandrayaan-3 is scheduled to land on the moon on 23rd August 2023. around 6:04 pm ist after a journey of over 40 days although the travel duration may seem reasonable given the distance between the earth and the moon it is important to note that previous missions have completed this journey in a shorter time frame nasa's apollo 11 arrived on the lunar surface in just 4 days Not to forget, China's Chang'e 2, launched in 2010, also took just four days to cover the distance between the Earth and the Moon, and so did its follow-up mission to the lunar surface, Chang'e 3. While the Soviet Union's Luna 1, the first unmanned mission to reach close to the Moon, took just 36 hours. to make the journey Why then is Chandrayaan 3 taking weeks to reach the moon The simple answer is that ISRO does not have a rocket powerful enough to put Chandrayaan 3 on a direct path to the moon In the case of Apollo missions including Apollo 11 a direct trajectory called translunar injection was used The Saturn V launch vehicle propelled the Apollo spacecraft into Earth orbit first. From there, a powerful engine burn was executed to send the spacecraft on a trajectory directly toward the moon. The spacecraft was directed to the LTT through a single 6-minute long burn of the Saturn rocket's third stage, akin to a slingshot effect. This direct path allowed the Apollo missions to reach the moon within a few days. Chandrayaan-3 however is following a very different trajectory. The mission will use a series of earth orbits and engine burns to gradually increase the spacecraft's speed and position for a lunar insertion. The spacecraft will first enter an initial earth orbit and then perform engine burns at specific times to transfer to a trajectory that intersects with the moon's orbit. Finally, another engine burn will be conducted to insert the spacecraft into the lunar orbit. This multi-step approach used by the ISRO for the Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan missions requires more time but allows for the use of relatively less powerful launch vehicles. ISRO will use Earth and Moon's gravity to work around the constraints while orbiting the Earth in an elliptical orbit. The module will be at its highest speed when it passes through the point in that orbit closest to the planet. This point is called the perigee. Exactly opposite to this point in the orbit is the apogee, where the module will be the furthest from the Earth and at its slowest speed. The speed varies across different points in the orbit due to the variation in the Earth's gravitational pull. The closer the module is to the Earth, the more the gravitational pull and the greater the speed with every burn of the onboard propulsion system the module will keep spiraling outwards in increasingly elongated ellipses eventually as the module continues its journey it reaches the escape velocity necessary to break free from earth's gravity at this point the module's orbit will elongate allowing it to set a course toward the moon The entry of the Chandrayaan-3 module into the lunar transfer trajectory is carefully timed to align with the moon's position in its own orbit. The strategic timing ensures that the module reaches proximity to the moon's orbit precisely when the moon is located in that region. Once the module reaches this point, a precise maneuver is executed using the onboard propulsion system. 
This maneuver known as lunar orbit insertion is designed to reduce the module's velocity. The gravitational field of the moon can then pull the module into a stable lunar orbit. This successful lunar insertion completes the crucial phase of placing the spacecraft in orbit around the moon. Having escaped Earth's gravity and entered lunar orbit, the module will start revolving around the moon in an elliptical orbit. A series of maneuvers will be used to progressively lower the altitude of the module and place it in a 100 km circular orbit around the moon. It is at this point that the propulsion module will separate from the lander which will continue its journey toward the lunar surface. If all proceeds as planned, sometime around 23rd August, Chandrayaan-3 will accomplish a groundbreaking feat as the first Indian mission ever to successfully soft land in the vicinity of the lunar south pole.